Well, good morning my friends and happy Tuesday. Today is the 22nd of the 2nd, 22. What a great day. I had to write it out before and I was like, this is fun to write out. But anyway, happy Tuesday. I hope you're all doing well. Today is a very rainy, stormy day and it is so dark and gloomy. It looks quite bright on the camera at the moment, but my house is so dark. And it's going to be like this, I think, for the rest of the day and also for the rest of the week, which is great. I mean, in all honesty, I love the rain, so I'm not really that worried about it. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is the hole in the roof, which is in the process of... of of getting there to be fixed. We're still going through insurance and contacting the right people to come in and get it done. So it's it, it will get done eventually. Today I did have planned to actually film my next block tutorial. It's way too dark and gloomy to do it because I like to have my tutorials nice and bright like like lots of lighting and brightness. Yeah just lots of little technical things that are going to um, just affect it today. So I'm going to do some embroidery instead. I have been sharing a couple of like little short videos of some embroideries that I've done recently. One here and a couple over on Instagram. And I thought, well, I still got the sewing machine out or the embroidery machine out. And I have a little, uh, like a little flannel that I would like to embroider just as like a tester of how to embroider on flannel or towel type fabrics. So I'm going to explore that today and you're going to come along with me and uh, we'll figure it out together. I did recently do an embroidery on like a fleecy dog blanket. I'll get it. It's pretty easy to get. I've got to climb over the dog though. So this is the little fleece blanket that I did and I did a design with Mickey and Pluto on it and I think it's so gorgeous. So this is the first time I ever used uh, a wash away Solby on top of it while I was embroidering it and it worked out really well. So I'll be using uh, like an embroidery Solby for the flannel today as well. So I'll show you how that works. Um, but yeah, that turned out really nicely. I'm not sure what I'm going to give it to Charlie because I can't trust Charlie with these sort of things. He'll just eat this. But um, I'm thinking of maybe putting his name down the bottom. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll give it to him. Who knows? While we're here, I thought I'd show you a couple of the other ones that I did. These are the two tea towels that I did in my little shorts videos. This one I did on Instagram and also on my Disney Instagram account, which I'll link below if you want to have a look. And this one here I just did on the channel. You may have seen this one and I also put this one on my Instagram as well. This one says weapons of choice and it turned out really well. This design is from Urban Threads. Then I did this one with Winnie the Pooh and his little pot plants. And this was one of the designs as well as the one that's on the dog blanket. These are the designs that I'm sharing with Aisha. And uh, I think it turned out really well. I'm really happy with that one. During last week I also did this tea towel with this lovely flower mason jar. And then this tea towel that has a little cupcake and it says bite me. <laughs> cute. And then I did this tea towel with this sort of like wreath design and I used a variegated embroidery thread so that it has like that variation of colour through it and I quite like it. It's really subtle and simple. My mum really liked this one. I'm thinking with these tea towels because we don't need any more tea towels in our house. I might actually put these up on sale on my Etsy shop. So if you want a tea towel that's embroidered by me then I will let you know when they're up on Etsy and you can buy one if you want. I've just made it a little bit bigger on my computer but this is the little design I'm going to put on my little flannel here. It's just a plain pink fluffy flannel. If you don't know what a flannel is, it's also known as like a wash cloth or washer. There you go, that's what it is. It's a cotton face washer. We call them flannels. So I'm thinking of putting Minnie Mouse just about here. Down the bottom it says the size of the actual design. So she's not going to be that big. She's quite tiny. But I love this design of Minnie Mouse. I am thinking of maybe changing a few design elements. Hmm. Actually, it really depends on how the steps are going to work out. I think her hat and her shoes will be all done in the one step. So they're going to have to be the same colour which will be yellow because her shoes are yellow but the middle of the flower is yellow and I think that will be a separate step. So I have more of my embroidery threads here. I use a mixture of uh, Gudeman Sulky Threads 
which are these ones here. I've had these threads forever, literally forever, and I'm only now just beginning to use them. And then I also have these threads. These are called Sim Threads. Aisha recommended these to me and I just got them from Amazon. And it's like three tiers of colours and they are very genuine to the Brother embroidery colours without the expense. So I'm just going to go through each one and pick out the best colours that are going to suit our Minnie Mouse here. Um, and then we'll get sewing. So I thought I'd show you how I get a design from a USB stick onto the machine. So I've got the design that I'll be doing on the USB and I've done that through the computer. But we pop the USB stick or flash drive or whatever you call it into the side of the machine there. Then we're going to turn the machine on. It's going to do all of its debris do's. And then we're going to select the little USB icon there. It's going to have a think and then it's brought up all of my different files and I've taken Minnie Mouse out so that she's easier to find and she should be there. So I'm just going to select her and there she is and that's and you can see she's very tiny and a feature that I discovered recently was if I go into this little top button here it will show me, let's get up a bit closer, it'll show me actually how it will stitch out and then how big the design is in uh, relative to the hoop. So she's really tiny, she's itty bitty. Most of the other designs that I do actually fit this whole sort of square and that's your 4x4 four four boundary or border that this machine will do. So she is nice and tiny in the centre there. Um, and yeah, that's how she's going to look when she's all stitched out. There are a couple of jump stitches I will have to cut, but that's okay. So this screen is where we can edit like colours, we can move her up or down, we can delete her, don't want to do that. Or we can save her onto the actual machine, but I don't want to do that, I just want to end the edit. Here we can, this is where we can also decide if we want her up a little bit higher, to the side, downwards, whatever. But I'm ready just to embroider her and so now we're ready to go. Uh, this is the list of colours that we'll be doing, how long each one will take. The whole design will take about 7 minutes with about 2,500 stitches, which is cool. So I'm just going to take some time to prep my little flannel. I'm going to cut out the stabilizers and get them all ready to go. And uh, then we'll start stitching. In the meantime, I need to try and move the dog because he is inside. Because he does not like thunderstorms or the rain or anything like that. So he's been a little bit of a sook today. Which I will never not love because I love my dog. But he is terribly in the way. There he is. In the way. This is where I work. This is where I stand. And this is where I need to do stuff on the ironing board. He's in the way. Charlie! You're in the way, puppy. You're in the way, my love. Yeah. You're in the way. I need to do some sewing. You okay? I know. Scary noises, huh? Scary noises. Oh. He doesn't care. Really does not care. Goodness. He is one very spoiled puppy. What are you going to do, you know? Alright, so I've got my flannel all loaded up and I've done this a little bit differently. The way that I've done it is I have just hooped the stabilizer in the actual embroidery hoop. This is just a tear away. And then what I'm doing is a technique called floating. So instead of actually putting the flannel into the hoop, because it's really thick, I'm actually just floating it on top of the stabilizer. I did do a really light spray of some quilting spray, just so that it doesn't move. And then I put some Solby on top. And the way that I'm sort of securing that down so it doesn't move is just by putting pins um, along each of the edges, just so then it doesn't move. It's kind of basted in place. Now it's best to use Solvi on top of fabrics that have a lot of, uh, this is called a nap, so how the little sort of like bits in the fabric come up, this is called nap. You want to put Solvi on top of this kind of fabric so that the threads don't get lost in it. The Solvi just sort of helps the threads and the design that it's going to create 
to sit more on top of the nap than to actually go into the nap and get lost. It also stops the needle from snagging and it will just make the design look a lot better. So I love this stuff, it washes away so quickly. But the machine is all threaded. Minnie Mouse is all ready to go. I did actually move her down a little bit just so that she wasn't more centralized in the middle up here. I wanted her to be more down here towards this sort of band on the flannel. On this machine it's got a feature where you can see like the outline of where the design is going to be. So if I press this button here it will just do a little highlight of the boundary of the design. So that'll be the bottom. That'll be the right side, the top, and then the left side. And then that's the center. So she's sitting good. Let's press embroidery. And it's now ready to go. So we'll lower the foot, press our green button. This is my play button. And uh, we'll see how this turns out. Our first colour, the white is all done, so you can kind of see this is Minnie's face. And then I think this is part of her skirt and this will be her hands. So you can see how the Solvi has just allowed the design to float on top of the nap without all of these threads sort of sinking into the, um, into the little threads on top there. So we'll do yellow, that is our next colour, so it will be her shoes and her hat. And we might be able to see the design come out a little bit more. she is isn't she adorable she's so tiny she's very very wee in comparison this is the size of my usb and then the size of my favorite thread snip so she is tiny but she looks really good so i've just cut away all the jump stitches i've torn away the solvi there is still a little bit left here and like in between these gaps and stuff but they'll wash away when I put it in the wash and then on the back she's upside down at the moment but I've just torn away the tear away and just cut away some of the other threads but I am so happy with that she is so gorgeous very good happy days well, good morning my friends and happy Wednesday it's the 23rd and it if you can hear it it is raining outside. It is absolutely bucketing down. The weather can't make up its mind today. This morning, like 20 minutes ago, it was sunny and now it's raining very heavily and it is so dark. I mean, I'm facing the window so I'm nice and bright but it's so dark in here today. It's a lot more darker in real life than it is on the camera but uh, yeah, it's just one of those days. Again, it's just going to rain. Although I am enjoying that it is cup of tea weather so yay hopefully if you can hear me this morning I spent some time editing the footage that I did yesterday embroidering the little Minnie Mouse flannel here she is I'm so happy with it I've had to turn the light on because it's so dark in here so I thought I'd vlog a little bit of today just to sort of put on the end of the footage you've just seen today I'm going to be setting up my space to film the block tutorial Hopefully tomorrow. I'm hoping that it's not going to be so dark tomorrow. I mean, I know I can like turn lights on and stuff like that, but it's not the same as having nice, lovely, natural sun 
coming in through the window and everything being nice and natural and also you don't get shadows and things so hopefully tomorrow will be a little bit more sunnier but in the meantime I'm gonna pack away my darling embroidery machine and all the threads and get this space back ready to do some filming I also need to pick out fabrics for the blocks because for our next tutorial I'm making a giant block and my plan is to make four of them to then make it into like a baby quilt because the block that I will be making is going to be a big one so if we put four of those blocks together we'll have a nice sort of lovely sized baby quilt and then I was thinking of doing like a really fun little quilt along with it but I can't do that until I pick out fabrics. I have however picked out the backing fabric which is very unlike me but I thought because we're doing baby quilts, I thought this fabric would be perfect. So I've had this Balta fabric for ages. It was from Spotlight ages and ages and ages ago. And that's what it's called. And it's just a beautiful little scene of a little girl eating ice cream with her cat, dog. She's walking a cat in a little pram. It's just a really nice, lovely little like park scene. And I just thought that would be perfect as a backing for a little baby quilt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out some of the colours in here and use some really nice solid colours in the blocks to match these colours in here. So I'll get some pinks and blues, maybe some of this sort of like orangey yellow colour, maybe even some of the greens. Yeah, just so it's like all matchy matchy okay so i had a bit of a dig through my solids and look what i found i found a lovely packet of pre-cut bella solids by moda and they are absolutely perfect they match the colors on the backing fabric so well and i just love like this whole pastel type dreaminess as i mentioned i'll be making four blocks so these two colors will be together these two these two and then these two because the block that i'm making you need to have like two contrasting fabrics or more to be able to sort of see the design i'm very excited about this it uh, is obviously i think going to be leaning towards more of a baby girl type uh baby quilt but that's okay i've only ever made one little girl baby quilt before because I have so many nephews and only one niece so this will be really great to make. Now I know I'm being really vague on the block design. I haven't told you what I'm making yet. I wanted to be a little bit of a surprise. I did give you a bit of a hint in the written post I put up yesterday. It is a star block and it's a star block we haven't made before even though we have done a star sampler quilt here. It's one that we haven't made before. It's going to be a very exciting block to make and I'm super excited to get into it. But I'm going to leave today's vlog here so I can edit this footage in and get it up for you today. I will continue working on the blocks for this. I might do the first three just to sort of, you know, get the pattern down and yeah, just make sure that it's actually going to work because I haven't actually tested the block yet. It's all just up here and for those who want to know these are five inch squares so it's going to be big blocks but anyway thank you all so much for joining me today i hope you're all doing well and are staying safe and i'll see you all again very very soon Bye -bye.